With the imminent announcement of Aaron Rodgers to the Jets, Zach Wilson has lost all confidence as his morale has dropped his overall all the way down to zero without a single rating over one. And our goal is to go from this atrocity to a member of the prestigious 99 Club. And if we fail to achieve this before the day he retires, I have to buy and then discard five 99 rated Madden cards for just 100 coins. Bro, he is so bad. This might be my biggest challenge yet. I really might lose all of my precious Mutt coins. How is this even possible? At the end of every grueling offseason, Zach gets to spin this magical upgrade wheel and apply whatever upgrade it lands on. Plus, on top of what he naturally increases throughout his career, and most importantly, we'll set five objectives for Mr. Wilson each season that will increase periodically in difficulty, and for each he completes, Zach gets another spin of the magical upgrade wheel. Now in season one, when a single game, he has to throw at least five touchdowns, he has to throw less than 20 interceptions, he has to simply run for positive net yards, and he has to run for just a single touchdown. Keep in mind how hard it's going to be to complete these challenges with who we have at quarterback. On top of that, how is he going to achieve any of this with Aaron Rodgers as the new starter? Simple enough, whatever team is lucky enough for this wheel to land on, will have Zach as their starter for the foreseeable future, and it looks like it's going to be the Indianapolis Colts. It's actually hilarious. It almost landed on the Jets. I really don't think this is who Colts Nation wanted as their next quarterback. But lucky for the Colts, since this technically picks up at the end of the offseason. Zach gets his first spin of the magical upgrade wheel. Come on, dude. Come on. Holy crap. Holy crap, dude. That's huge. Honest to God, dude, that might be one of the best starts we could have possibly gotten. Hilarious enough, every rating is now 16, but for some mysterious reason, he's still a 12 overall. At least he came with star development. Now, most importantly, even though it currently looks grim, if Zach somehow finds a way to win a Super Bowl, that's an automatic plus 20 to his overall. All. I'm not even trolling the computer sign Carson Wentz of all quarterbacks. Hey, at least he made it through preseason cuts. And it looks like he's already got two upgrade points. But we can't use them yet because this game is freaking stupid. So let's please not just have an absolute stinker here in season number one. Who am I kidding, dude? He's a 12 overall. We didn't win a single game. Oh, no. We only needed one game for an upgrade, man. Of course, we had the worst offense in the league. Just please tell me that Zach Wilson's at least thrown for a couple of touchdowns. You know what, dudes? You know what? I'll take it. You know, the 63 interceptions, that's quite a few more than 20, but the 12 touchdowns, I'll take it. How do you throw 63 interceptions, though, Zachary? And would you look? He has five upgrades on his own, but you know what? He still can't use it, dumb game. And thanks to Zach's heroic performance, he does get a spin of the magic upgrade wheel. Honest to God, dudes, I will take anything here. Anything will help at this point, it looks like he gets a plus 20 to his awareness. Brings it all the way up to a whopping rating of 36. And yet he's still technically a zero overall. But we still have to check and see if Zach just ran for one singular yard all season long and it's not looking good. The team ran for just one touchdown all year. Oh no, dude, this is not good at all. No! Zach has had himself an absolute stinker. But bro, we didn't even come close all season long. How are we ever supposed to win a game? I might have been weighing over my head, man. This challenge really might be completely impossible. Let's just hope the Colts don't cut him this offseason. It looks like he survived offseason cuts, but unfortunately, he dropped to normal development. That's so demoralizing, dude. The star development was the only thing he had going for him. All now we really can do is hope for the Colts to splash big money in this offseason free agency because we need this team to be as good as possible to have any chance at ever winning. They literally didn't sign a singular free agent. A team that went 0-17 didn't sign one free agent. I don't think any player they could potentially draft here could help this franchise other than somebody like Jesus Christ himself. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I really don't think a draft can go much better than this did. But most importantly for Zach, they didn't draft a quarterback to replace him. And you know what the end of the offseason means. We get the magic wheel spin, please, dude. There's so many that could absolutely change the game, and I swear to God, that might be the best possible.
possible upgrade on the entire wheel. Bro, how much is this actually gonna improve our overall? It's still a freaking 12, dude. 99th throw power, and he still is the 145th ranked quarterback in the league. We still have to improve this overall by 87 to save my mutt coins, and we still haven't even bumped it up by one yet. Can we at least use the upgrades now? This is stupid. Into season two, this is how the offense lines up, and oh great, Zach got a six upgrade that he can't use. And now for Zach's season number two objectives, all the failed ones from last year roll over to this year, and for the fifth challenge, yes, the throw for at least 15 touchdowns. Can we at least just win one game this year, please? We went two and 15! Let's go, let's go, let's go! You've got to be kidding me, bro. We beat the Dolphins by three. Who else was our victim? We beat the Seahawks away from home in week 17. Two three-point victories, but you know what? I'll take it. Come on, Magic Wheel. Give me something absolutely juicy here. We need something bad. It looks like we're gonna get a simple plus 10 to any rating. I think I'm actually gonna pop his speed all the way up to 26. What does it take for that stupid circle to read 13? That doesn't surprise me. No way Zach threw for 60 plus interceptions again, right? Wrong. But hey, our main threw for over 3,000 yards and 18 touchdowns, which is massive. How do you throw 63 interceptions and still win two games? Come on, Magical Wheel. Give me something majestic please it looks like no 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 we only get a plus five to awareness brings it all the way up to 41 he's still a freaking 12 now did you at least run for a single yard this season it looks like no but he still could have potentially ran for a touchdown and he did let's go negative 49 yards on the season for him but who cares please magical wheel just give us something massive here something to change the game something to at least take us to a 13 overall and you know what dudes that might actually do it so we get to boost literally every rating up to at least a 30 it's a miracle madden might trick you here but thank god for the first time zach wilson is no longer a 12 overall now i could be mistaken but i do think now and i hope to god i'm right that we can use these skill points let's go the game has been completely changed wait why are we right back to doing this again am i not allowed to upgrade these yet we'll put them all into strong arm i guess but thank the lord dude zach wilson rightfully so earned these on his own and finally we can actually kind of use them all the way up to a 25 overall i might actually cry i finally remember what faith feels like we only need to improve by 79 more overall i'm telling you zach is gonna be in brock purdy's shoes one day but the question is will it be with the Colts because he only has two seasons left on his contract and if he hasn't improved drastically by then the Colts definitely might not re-sign him which admittedly that might actually be a smart decision for him I just hope the front office actually signs free agents this time around because they should have some money left over from last offseason I don't understand like why we better draft seven straight 99 overalls here hey man at least Zach's front office knows how to draft Christine Oxen has supplied me with a $10,000 sports memorabilia box today, and as I open this bad boy up to see what's inside, I want to tell you a little bit about the company. Definitely looks like a Justin. With over a thousand items ending daily, Pristine Auction specializes in autographed memorabilia, sports cards, coins, art collectibles, and more. They work with the leading authentication companies to ensure all items are 100% authentic, certified by PSA, Fanatics, and many more of the most trusted names in the game. Pristine Auction runs several auction formats including multiple weekly auctions, a premium monthly auction, and my personal favorites, the daily and 10-minute auctions. They also have an iOS app available for download and a marketplace so you don't miss out on all the action. And the wonderful people at Pristine Auction have supplied me with a $10 off registration code, so make sure you use registration code RBT for a little discount, and make sure to give them a follow on their social media accounts at Pristine Auction. All links are in the description box below. Another massive shout out to Pristine Auction for sponsoring today's video. Video. After yet again another grueling offseason, Zach gets another magical upgrade spin here. We really need something else big to 
add on to what we got at the end of last season and we're gonna get another plus five to our awareness yay brings that up all the way up to 53 which does bump him up to a 26 overall into season three the massive question is can this team improve upon their massive two win total from last year which they very well might because this defense is absolutely nasty but on top of the two failed challenges from last year zach has to win five games has to complete more than 50 percent of his passes and has to throw for at least 20 touchdowns i don't think the world's ready for a 26 overall zach wilson this season he's about to light the nfl world on fire okay so we're back to going winless that's definitely not a step in the right direction i can't wait to not have the worst offense in the league well at least he got his interception total down to under 60 almost threw for 4,000 yards didn't throw for 20 touchdowns but thank the lord to save the season he finally completed half his passes hey he also improved naturally up to a 28 overall so i'll definitely take that this really might be our only upgrade the entire season so we really need something big and i guess i will take a plus five to all his accuracy ratings which means his short medium and deep throw accuracy all go up by five which for the first time brings him up to a massive overall of 32 now what are the odds he ran for his first career yard those odds would be zero because it looks like once again he ran for negative yards but at least that's an improvement from last year one day you'll make it here zach thank the lord another off season where he didn't retire that's because of his low overall he really could retire any given off season Season, which uh, would not be good for me and my butt bank account. But at least he's around for his final year of his Colts contract. But I swear, if they don't sign anybody again this offseason, I'm punching somebody. Miracles do happen! I mean, I guess we were just saving up our money the last few offseasons, because that's a pretty big hole. Now watch our draft class saw. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't too shabby. And after another grueling offseason, we get another magic wheel spin, and we really need something huge. Plus 20 overall! Plus 20 overall! No, no, no! Wait, wait, that might be better. What in the frick is this gonna do to his overall? We've officially brought Zach Wilson from a zero overall to a now respectable 65. Finally, just finally, we might actually have a little bit of hope. Only 34 more overall to go. Into season four, and boys, this is so much more promising. Now in season four, we have four failed challenges from last year rolling over, and on top of that, Zach's gotta complete 60% of his passes. I think 65 overall Overall, Zach actually has a small chance of completing every single one of these challenges this season. Hopefully, Zach has a big season here because this really could be his last year as a Colt. How do I even react to this, dude? We went from 0 and 17 to 10 and 7 in the playoffs. I mean, I guess it's safe to say he won five games. Not only did he improve to a 68 overall, this is the first time I've ever seen him with a positive morale boost. Kind of gets me emotional thinking where we came from. Come on, Magic Wheel, full speed ahead it looks like we get ourselves a plus 25 to any rating of our choosing there are so many options but i think i'm actually gonna be an absolute menace and take his speed all the way up to 94 it didn't really boost his overall or anything but i think that's just ridiculous how do we go from worst offense in the nfl three consecutive seasons to top five bro what the frick do you even mean i just want you all to appreciate how much zach wilson actually improved in his contract season how do you go from throwing 60 picks a year to nine he threw for over 5,000 yards but more importantly threw for over 20 touchdowns threw less than 20 picks for the first time in his career and did complete more than 60 percent of his passes boys i'm in heaven now please tell me for the first time he actually ran for a single yard yes he did and 153 more i told you guys zachary was gonna hit all five challenges now where the frick is four Four more upgrades actually gonna take his overall you know what i'll be appreciative of whatever we get here and it looks like we're gonna get a plus five to all ratings that's 100 percent acceptable which funny enough gives zach wilson 99 speed which officially brings zach wilson up to a 74 overall don't pay attention to the morale boost thingy it always screws this up come on magic will keep feeding us the good things and it looks like we get to improve all of our traits for the first time which means on top of improving his development up to star i get to fix literally every single one of these traits to its most optimal rating i can't believe we're only 25 overall away from the 99 club we still have two more upgrades here so we could get even closer and it 
looks like we get to add plus 20 to his awareness. Bro, that's gonna take it literally all the way up to 94, which has him so freaking close to cracking 80 overall. Please, let's get a big one because after this season, the objectives are gonna get so much more difficult to complete. And I think we're just gonna simply get a plus one to his overall, which does officially bring him to an 80 overall. Keep in mind, bro, we could still go on a playoff run. And if we get to the Super Bowl and win that, that's a plus 20 to his overall. Can we please just not get first rounded? Because that would actually make me cry. I'm crying. We literally lost by three, dude. That's so depressing. That's so sad. This should have been Zach. Now the all-important question is rather or not the Colts are actually going to extend Zach Wilson's contract. Like he's an 80 overall now. I think he deserves a decent payday. If you resign him, this could be the beginning of a dynasty. So at the click of a button, is Zach Wilson still in Indianapolis Colt? And who is that? Oh no, where did Zach Wilson go? Just as the dynasty was about to begin, he goes and signs elsewhere, but the question is where? Oh my god, he went back to New York. But this time, our man is a New York Giant. He only signed a three-year, $75 million contract. Why didn't the Colts give him this money, dumb organization? Oh my gosh, he might have actually joined a stacked team. Honestly, man, this offense might be better than what he had with the Colts. Can't say the same about the defense, though. Oh, how I love being a part of an organization that actually spends money in the offseason. They obviously take their football seriously here. Let's see if they can draft as good as the Colts, though. I mean, you really can't go wrong with an 82-rated safety in the first round. And you know, this offseason's about to get much better because, of course, Zach Wilson was once again in the gym. Honestly, if this lands on one of the wheel's better upgrades, it could go ahead and maybe take Zach to a 99, but it looks like here we're gonna get a plus 20 to all of his speed ratings. It takes both his acceleration and agility all the way up to 94, which unfortunately for us doesn't boost his overall. That still looks cool though. Now here in season five, Zach's objectives get much tougher. He has to complete 70% of his passes. He has to throw for more than 40 touchdowns. He has to run for at least five more. He has to finish top five in MVP voting, and he has to make the Pro Bowl. And keep in mind, if we somehow win a Super Bowl this season, that would automatically bring Zach's over Overall, all the way to 99. It's not a division crown or anything, but I'll gladly take a playoff berth over a winless season. Okay, so a top five offense, that's a pretty good start. Oh my god, Zach Wilson, you absolute beauty! This guy just five seasons ago was a zero. 5,200 yards passing, over 40 touchdowns on the year, and over a 70% completion percentage. Massive dubs! While we're here with his 99 speed, did he get five rushing touchdowns? No, he did not even get one. Now, the big question was this season's performance good enough for some MVP votes or at least a Pro Bowl burr? Zachary, all we need was to finish top five and we didn't finish top five. We came in seventh, dude. Gosh dang it. That had to at least be good enough for a Pro Bowl, right? Yes, it was. Let's go. Miracles. And on top of the three upgrades he's about to get, he did naturally progress by one up to an 81. Give us something big, fat, and juicy. You see, it looks like we get a plus 10 to strength, okay. Bringing that bad boy all the way up to 84. Literally did zero to our overall. Oh, please, magical upgrade wheel. Just give us something at least a little bit more meaningful. And I guess at the end of the day, we get to max out his acceleration and agility, which means they're now all 99. Two more upgrades and not even a plus one to his overall, dude. We need something to give us a big playoff push here, and we're gonna get ourselves a plus 15 to every single quarterback rating. Literally every single one of these gets a plus 15. Oh my god, dude, this literally might have just changed the game. I can't believe it, Zach Wilson. Oh, Officially a 97 overall. Where the freak did that come from? Don't let that fake 99 fool you though. There's still plenty of work to do. Can we please just not get first rounded this season? We get the win! Oh my gosh, dude. How are we gonna go through the 13 and 4 Dallas Cowboys in Dallas? I mean, this would take a miracle, but it would make me a happy boy. Boom! Oh my god, dude, you've got to be kidding me. We are literally one game shy from the Super Bowl as a seven seed. Imagine Zach Wilson, a former zero overall, literally takes the Giants to the Super Bowl in his first season in New York. No!
<laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh, dude, after all of that, we lose by three? My heart is broken. At least the Chiefs embarrassed them for us. The positive news, Zach has officially upgraded up to Superstar. If this front office could just spend a little bit more money this offseason, we really could be right back in the thick of things next season. And I'm hoping by that point, Zach is a 99. I mean, nothing spectacular, but let me tell you, that is better than nothing. Let's keep it going with another good draft class. Well, unfortunately, I come to you with much sadness because this is our worst draft class yet. Just because Zach's a 97 now doesn't mean he wasn't grinding in the gym this offseason. Rose, this very easily could take us to that 99 overall. Like, any little upgrade could help here, but it looks like we're actually not going to get a ratings boost, but we do get a development trait boost, which does take Zachary up to Superstar X Factor. Now into Season 6 as an X Factor, Zach really might get to 99 on his own. And for Season 6, on top of his failed challenges from last year, Zach has to throw for more than 45 touchdown passes, he has to lead the league in passing yards, and he has to lead the league in completion percentage. I 100% believe this season is Super Bowl or bust. Not gonna lie, I'm not too happy. We're almost a 90 overall team. How didn't we make the playoffs? We had a top 5 offense again, so that wasn't the problem. So in all honesty, that's a pretty decent drop off from last year. With these stats, we're gonna have to hope nobody had better than a 70% completion percentage. Even though he has 99 speed, it looks like again, he didn't score one rushing touchdown who obviously didn't lead the league in passing yards. We just gotta hope I click sort here and he has the highest pass completion percentage. Okay, that's kind of anticlimactic because none of these guys count, but it looks like, yes, thank the Lord, dude. He's tied with Anthony Richardson of all people for the highest completion percentage in the NFL. Not a complete failure of a season. He didn't finish top five in voting last year. I don't think he came top five this year and we were correct. Although he did come in eighth place. Yo, our man is trying so hard up to a 98 overall literally all we need is something to boost us up by one to officially make it to the 99 club there are literally so many options that this will can land on to give us that plus one overall boost and it looks like we're gonna get a big one we can choose literally any 99 rating i gotta be strategic with this which one of these ratings has the best shot at boosting us up to a 99 overall i think i'm gonna boost the short accuracy all the way to 99 and let's go the impossible has been achieved we've officially brought zach wilson from a zero overall to a 99 this is the same fella who almost threw 200 interceptions in his first three seasons thank the lord my month bank account's officially safe but now our main objective find a way to win this guy a Super Bowl. I really thought the front office would have spent more considering this could be their last chance at a Super Bowl with Zach, and of course they eventually paid the price with their second straight 9-8 season without a playoff berth, but at least they finally did the smart thing giving Mr. Wilson a massive 6 year $300 million contract. Now we've made it to the final year of that massive deal, and he's still in 93 overall as a freaking 35 year old. No, he hasn't won a Super Bowl yet, but of course his old team did. He's had a few really good seasons in New York, although it's literally only resulted in one more Pro Bowl berth. And what could be his last season as a Giant? They won the division, but of course they got first rounded. The Giants front office then decided to run it back one more year with 92 overall 36 year old Zachary, but it just ended in another mediocre 9 and 8 season. Zach and the Giants must have a super toxic relationship because they keep giving them $50 million a season, but maybe, just maybe, they're on to something. They beat the Commanders in the wild card, then squeezed by the Saints by a pube, and then finally got past the Panthers by an even smaller pube, leading Zach into his first ever Super Bowl against the Titans. And finally, let's go! Zach Wilson finally brings a Super Bowl to the city of New York. Zach Wilson has literally completed the impossible, going from a zero overall to Super Bowl champion, finally bringing a Lombardi to New York. The prophecy has officially been fulfilled. Now, hopefully you enjoyed that one, and if you did, you can click right here to watch me take the worst player in the NFL and turn him into a 99 overall. And let me tell you, if you thought this video was crazy, this one might actually be crazier.